my friends I hope everyone's doing well today and so today I'm coming to you with another jelly print video and as you can see here I laid out all of my greens I'm gonna be doing greens today um, so I have here um, a lot of acrylic paints um, that I went through my um, the ones that I have and took out all shades of greens I have a goldens I have here dilutions a flash chalk paint uh, this is from Folk Art. Um, I had the Craftmark paints. Um, these I got from Hobby Lobby, the Anita's uh, craft paints. Deco Art. Um, then I have here the Montmartre ones. Um, so, yeah. And then these are other ones. These are Zen Color ones. These are the US Art Supplies. Um, and I also have some metallics mixed up in there. So, I'm also going to use like the gray and these are like this is like a pale gray the white and the vanilla um just to um just lift up the paint at times i'm not going to use those a lot that's just to lift up the paint and maybe also uh, make use of the colors that are, will be in the jelly plane and then i thought of, for a hint of color i took out uh deco art uh, extreme sheen metallic paints so I have two of those and I have the copper and the gold um, and this one is Dorado 24 karat gold Dorado and then the copper and then I also have the deco art metallics and so this one is espresso champagne gold and mink pearl and I don't know if you can tell the difference by looking at the cover but these so I'm going to be using these for a hint of color and just to um, uh, use it with the greens, you know, bring out some cute, very nice colors. So um, this is what I'll be using today. I'm going to clean up. I also wanted to mention uh, in my first uh, video where I did the blues, I used the first set of stencils that I had showed in my haul. These are them. And so for this video, I'm going to be using the second set. And these are the other designs, so this is going to be fun to see. And then, of course, I have my papers here in my folder. And so here, <coughs> I have a sketchbook that I kind of took apart because um, I want to do something with that sketchbook. Um, I did take out some pages out of the sketchbook. And so here are a whole bunch of them here that I'm going to be using for jelly printing, regular copy paper. I have this craft paper I'll be using today. Um, some of my tracing paper that I cut out for my rolls. See how that comes out. Um, again, I still have my favorite paper in the back. Pastel paper. That's pretty much it. I think I also have um, one sticker paper on here, which I'm going to use too. So that's what I'm going to use. And so, yeah, guys, um, I'm going to put on uh, some music. And hopefully this video won't be too long. I'm going to try my best not to make it long. But of course I'll edit it to make it shorter. And then um, show you what I come up with at the end. Okay guys, so enjoy and I will see you soon.
Okay, my friends, so here are my prints. Um, I did shorten the video, um, so you will see prints here that you didn't see on the video because um, I did do a lot more than I showed. Um, so I just wanna show you the ones that I did. Um, so there were a lot of them that I didn't like that didn't come out the way I liked. So I'm just gonna go through these real quick because I don't want to make the video, like I mentioned before, longer than it should be. So here is a simple one, which is okay. And then this one, mm, it's okay. It has a lot of nice texture, but I don't like the way the paint looks. I know you can't really see it, but the paint just looks like squished, which I don't like it, but I'm gonna make use of that. This one I definitely do not like. See how the paint looks? It could very squished there. So I don't know if I'm gonna use that. This one, even though it is faint and um, very light, I do like it. Definitely could use that for mixed media. Um, this one, not too crazy about it. And I did use um, my um, tracing paper that I cut off, cut off on a roll that I have. Not crazy about that one. This one is simple, but it's nice. I can use this one for collage. This one is pretty. I just don't like the this color here that I used, the brown, which is like an espresso, but it's like the metallic one. Yeah, I like the green part. I just don't like that brown part, but definitely gonna use it. I love this one. This one turned out really pretty. See the texture? I like that one. Um, I love this one too. Look at that. So pretty and I love the colors. This one I love as well. Very nice. This one is simple, but I do like it too. I can definitely use this one. has a lot of texture there this one is blah but I can definitely use it and this one's the one on the sticker paper so yeah I'm gonna use it it's not terrible I can definitely cut out things out of for that out of that uh, this one is simple too this one is on that um, tracing paper as well but the yellow one has a yellow tone to it it's okay I guess I can use that this one's okay. Um, this one's okay too. Not crazy about that one or this one. See how the paint looks like it's just smeared? I don't like that. Um, this one, eh, it's okay. The colors are pretty, but not crazy about the design. This one definitely not. Don't like this one at all. This one is very light and faint, hardly nothing. 
chose, but yeah, I can definitely use these parts here. Uh, this one is very simple. I'm not crazy about this one. It just looks like it's painted on. This one too. I guess I can take parts of this one. Um, don't like this one either. It just looks like smeared paint. But then again, I could definitely use it for something. I like this one, even though it's pale and has hardly no paint on it. I do like it. This one's okay. Um, this one I do not like at all. But I can definitely use it. I would definitely use that. Um, this one's okay. I'm not crazy about that design, I guess. That's the reason. Uh, don't like this one at all. This one, pretty simple. But I like the texture on there. This one is not that great, but there's something about this one that I like. I don't know what it is. Even though the paint is somewhat smeared, it looks really pretty. I like it. So I definitely like this one. Um, this one I like a lot too. This one was made with the gold. Very pretty. Nice texture. This also I can use simple, but very nice. Um, this one is okay. I don't like, I don't know. It's okay. Um, I definitely like this one. It has like a little bit of that. So I think I, I put this one down right after. This is the one that I said that I really like right after this one. So I did this one and then the remaining I did this one and that's the result. So yeah, I like those. This one is really pretty. It has like that gold tone. Colors are really pretty. This one is nice too. This one is really pretty too. Very simple, but it has like that ombre effect with colors, so it's really pretty. My daughter liked this one a lot. Then this one came out really nice, but my paper ripped in a couple of um when I was peeling the paper, and some of them they, it did rip. This paper for some reason I don't know why it rips, but I like this one too. But that's okay I can still use it and here you see it ripped right here and I like this one too but I can just go around it I guess and use it it's not a problem and then lastly look how pretty this one is yeah so I had a lot of fun doing these of course um, so these on these side are the ones that I like the most um, and then these I don't know what I'm gonna do with these we shall see, right? I may or may not keep them, but yeah. That was my jelly printing um, segment for today. Um, I think the next time I'm going to try a different color. So I'm going by colors. I did the blue. This is the green. I think I'm going to do the red next time. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that video, but I think I'm going to do the red. Yeah, I think that's the one I have more in mind. So I'm going to do that one next. Um, and I also have a collective purchase share that I want to show you guys from Amazon. So stay tuned for that, guys. And thank you all for showing up and for um, your comments and just for being here. I appreciate it so much. So my new subscribers, thank you for joining. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. God bless.